Weekly concept, feeding the world. Essential question, in what ways can advances in science be helpful or harmful? Time for kids. Food for thought. Scientific discoveries have led to disease-resistant types of corn, rice, and other crops. Some people believe these discoveries will help solve world hunger. Others believe these new foods will cause more harm than good. Why might it be a good idea for scientists to help farmers grow healthier crops? Why might it be a bad idea for scientists to interfere with nature? Talk about it. Write words that describe the pros and cons of advances in science. Then talk with a partner about what your opinion is on the topic. Vocabulary. Use the picture and the sentences to talk with a partner about each word. Advancements. New advancements in technology have made satellite dishes more efficient. Agriculture. The farmer studied agriculture so he would have healthier cows and crops. Agriculture. Agriculture is the science and business of raising crops and farm animals. Agriculture. Agriculture is the science and business of raising crops and farm animals. Characteristics. Thorns and brightly colored petals are two characteristics of a rose. Concerns. The doctor shared his concerns about his patient's health. Disagree. The two girls disagree about whose turn it was to choose a game to play. Disagreed. To disagree is to have a different opinion. Disagreed. To disagree is to have a different opinion. Inherit. Shane hopes that his baby will not inherit his big feet. Prevalent. Snowstorms are widespread and prevalent in the north. Prevalent. When something is prevalent, it is commonly accepted, used, or widespread. 
Prevalent. When something is prevalent, it is commonly accepted, used, or widespread. Resistance. Drinking water and exercising builds an athlete's resistance to illness. Food fight. Is it safe to interfere with Mother Nature? An incredible thing is happening to our food. Some scientists are using a technique called genetic modification to make superior food crops. It involves altering a seed's genes. Genes are the instruction codes that all living things have inside their cells. A seed's genetic code sets what characteristics. Characteristics it will inherit when it grows into a plant. These could mean how big it will grow and the nutrients it will contain. For thousands of years, farmers made crops better by crossbreeding plants. They would add pollen from the sweetest melon plants to the flowers of plants that produced the biggest melons. This would make new plants with big sweet melons. But this process does not always work. The cycle of crossbreeding can take years to get good results, but advances in gene science have created amazing shortcuts. Using new tools, scientists can put a gene from one living thing into another. That living thing could be a plant, a bacterium, a virus, or even an animal. These foods are called genetically modified foods or GM foods. The goal of GM foods is to create foods that can survive insects or harsh conditions, or can grow faster. But are these advancements in agriculture good for us? Essential question: In what ways can advances in science be helpful or harmful? Read about how science has helped to make better food crops. Support for superfoods. Scientists believe the new techniques can create crops with a resistance to pests and disease. BT corn is a genetically modified corn. It has an insect-killing gene that comes from a bacterium. Farmers who grow BT corn can use fewer chemicals while they grow their crops. That is good for the farmer and the environment. Some superfoods are extra nutritious. Golden rice has been genetically modified with three different genes. One gene is a form of bacterium. The other two are from daffodils. The new genes help the rice to make a nutrient that prevents some forms of blindness. Superfoods. These foods may seem common, but did you know that the genetically modified versions have special powers? Rice. Rice contains phytic acid. Too much of this acid can be bad for people. A new type of rice has been bred with a low level of phytic acid. Salmon. To create supersized salmon, scientists changed the gene that controls growth. The genetically altered salmon grow twice as fast as their wild cousins. Tomatoes. Genetically engineered tomatoes can be picked when they are ripe and still not bruise when shipped. One food company tried to use an Arctic flounder fish gene to create a tomato that could survive frost. The fish tomato did not succeed.
Safety Issues Many people have disagreed with the idea that GM foods are a good idea. They worry GM foods will hurt the environment and humans. One concern is that plants with new genes will crossbreed with weeds to make pesticide-resistant weeds. Another concern is that GM foods may trigger allergies. Genetically modified crops are prevalent in the U.S., but some people will not buy them because of health concerns. As a result, many companies avoid GM foods, although there is no physical evidence that they are unhealthy. Time will tell. Genetically modified foods have not hurt anyone. Most genetic researchers think that if troubles do crop up, they will be manageable. It is important to keep researching GM foods because these types of foods can better fight the world's chronic hunger problems. Hunger in Africa Map Key – Percentage of people that are not getting enough food Lavender – over 35% Peach – 20 to 34% Gray – 10 to 19% Yellow – 5 to 9% Light green, less than 5%. Pink, not enough data. Make connections. Talk about the advantages and disadvantages of GM foods. Would you buy GM foods? Reread. When you read informational text, you may come across facts and details that are new to you. As you read Food Fight, remember the difficult sections to make sure you understand and remember new information in the text. Find text evidence. You may not be sure you understand why genetically modified foods are created. Reread the last two paragraphs on page 223 in Food Fight, which explain the goal behind genetically modified foods. But advances in gene science have created amazing shortcuts. Using new tools, scientists can put a gene from one living thing into another. That living thing could be a plant, a bacterium, a virus, or even an animal. These foods are called genetically modified foods, or GM foods. The goal of GM foods is to create foods that can survive insects or harsh conditions, or can grow faster. But are these advancements in agriculture good for us? I read that the goal is to create foods that can survive insects and harsh conditions. From this, I can draw the inference that scientists are trying to help farmers. Your turn. Why do some people think that GM foods are not a good idea? Reread Safety Issues on page 225 to answer the question. As you read, remember to use the strategy Reread. Author's Point of View Authors have a position or point of view about the topics they write about. Look for details in the text, such as the reasons and evidence the author chooses to present. This will help you to figure out the author's point of view. Find text evidence. When I reread page 224 of Food Fight, I can identify details in the text that explain and support the author's position or attitude. Then I can figure out the author's point of view. Graphic Organizer Details Farmers who grow Bt corn use fewer chemicals. Using fewer chemicals is good for the environment. Some GM foods have been created to be extra nutritious. Caption Look for evidence the author presents. Your turn. Reread page 225. Find the important details in the section and list them in your graphic organizer. Use the details to determine the author's point of view. Persuasive article. Food Fight is a persuasive article. 
A persuasive article is nonfiction stating the author's opinion on a topic. Provides facts and examples to persuade the reader to agree with the author's opinion. May include text features such as charts and maps. Find text evidence. Food Fight is a persuasive article. It states the author's opinion about GM foods. It includes facts that support the author's opinion and text features such as headings, charts, and maps. Text feature, maps. Maps show geographic locations of specific areas of the world. They usually include a map key and a compass rose. Your turn. Find two text features in Food Fight. Tell what information you learned from each feature. Write about the text. I answered the question. In your opinion, are GM foods too risky to eat? Include text evidence. For thousands of years, farmers grew better crops by crossbreeding. Now many people think GM foods will produce even more amazing results. However, GM foods have one big disadvantage: no one knows whether or not they are really safe. For example, they may create pesticide-resistant weeds or cause allergies. Some researchers have thought that any problems with GM foods will be manageable, but more research is needed. Until we know that GM foods are completely safe, I think that eating these foods is too risky. Grammar grew is an example of an irregular verb. Transitions I used for example to connect my opinion with reasons. Relevant evidence. I provided reasons to support my opinion. Purpose and audience. I used a formal voice to support my purpose and appeal to my audience. Your turn. Does the author present a persuasive case for GM foods? Include text evidence.